Hi, I'm Pastor Marty Milkey of Ascension Lutheran Church in Sarasota, Florida. You know, one of the most frequent questions that I get asked when I begin that process of talking about the Bible or Christianity with people is the question about Jesus. Who really was Jesus? Was he real? Was he a myth? Was he a great man? Was he, in fact, the Son of God? It's an important question, especially for those who are receiving and, and coming into a knowledge of the truth of the Bible. We need to know who Jesus was. There is no real critical, uh, serious scholarship that, that can deny the existence of Jesus of Nazareth. Many have tried, but the historical rec record has been corroborated in so many ways to demonstrate that he was a real person who really lived. Dr. Lawrence Mikituck, a uh, PhD uh, professor um, who has his doctorate in Jewish and Semitic studies, uh, an associate professor at Purdue University, likes to point out that though there is no specific archaeological or uh, physical evidence to point to the man that was Jesus of Nazareth, the historical record is pretty clear. And he points to the fact especially that Jewish rabbis who did not like Jesus or his disciples men who were quick to call Jesus a fraud, tell, call him a, a magician, even a deceiver of the people, uh, made such claims about him, but they didn't try to claim he never existed. Even Jesus' enemies uh, were, were clear that he was a real man. And so we know that Jesus uh, was a real historical person who actually lived uh, in the first century in Palestine, in and around Galilee and Judea. And uh, we know that he was a, a person who uh, had a, a great following. So what, what was Jesus? Was he true God? Was he true man? Well, we know that he was true man. History uh, tells us that. We know that he, from the biblical record, uh, had a physical being. He was hungry. He got tired. Uh, he needed to rest and so on. He had all the physical attributes of, of a true human being. So was he just a human being who was trying to be, pretend to be God, or was he something more? Well, as you get into the Bible, you begin to see very quickly that the New Testament scriptures uh, make no question about who Jesus really was. Perhaps one of the clearest places is in the Gospel of John, chapter 1. John, tying the truth of the New Testament in with the opening verses of the Old Testament says this, in the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. He was with God in the beginning. The Word became flesh and made his dwelling among us. The Bible points out that this one who was born Jesus of Nazareth was in fact the Word of God, the Son of God, and God himself. We look at the life and work of Jesus of Nazareth and we see very quickly that he indeed was true God. The Bible points to him as having things, uh, the ability to do things that only God could do. He raised the dead. He healed the sick. He fed thousands with just a few fish and loaves of bread. Time and time again, Jesus demonstrated his divine power in the life that he, he led. So was he really just true God then masquerading as true man? Well, we look at Jesus' life and in particular his death. And we see that in his death, he died a real physical death on the cross. You know, some have even speculated, did Jesus really die? Well, I'd point you to the fact that the Romans were very good at what they did. When it came to crucifixion, they didn't mess around. They knew what they were doing, and Jesus really died. So Jesus was a true man. He was also, as the Bible tells us, true God. In uh, God from God, light from light, very God from very God, we, we recite in the Creed. And so Jesus, true God and true man, came into this world with a very specific role. What was the work of Jesus? Did he come to just be a prophet or was he something more? Well, certainly as a prophet, he served as a spokesman for God, a mouthpiece for God. But he was more than just a speaker of God's word. He was the word himself, true God and true man in one being. In his sacrifice on the cross, 
was that sacrifice just kind of a symbolic uh, representation of how we should be sacrificing to our God or was it something more? Did Jesus come just to be a great example to show us how we should live or was he something more? Again, scripture is very clear. It tells us that Jesus came and shed his blood as an atonement for the world. Jesus' sacrifice on the cross was in fact a payment for sin. Again, I turn to John in his first epistle. In 1 John chapter 1, we read these words. The blood of Jesus, his son, purifies us from all sin. It is a real purification that Jesus' blood provided for you and for me. You know, the fact that Jesus lived for us and died for us is what's most important. He was a real man. And he came and he humbled himself and made himself obedient to the law so that he could be more than just an example, that he could actually be our substitute, that he could take our place under the law, be accountable to that law, and fulfill that law perfectly for us. True man, in order to be under the law and in order to die for us. True God, in order for that death to count for the sins of the whole world. Who is Jesus? Well, in the end, Christians, Bible-believing people will tell you, Jesus, he's my Savior. I know he's my Savior because he lived for me and he died for me. He lived a perfect life, died an innocent death on the cross, and perhaps the greatest proof of the divinity of Jesus of Nazareth, that of his resurrection from the dead. You know, the Bible tells us that Jesus not only died, that he was buried, but on the third day, Jesus came alive again. And he showed himself, first to the women, then to the disciples, disciples on the road to Emmaus, and then the other disciples. And over the course of the next 40 days, this man who was crucified by the Romans had showed himself alive again. He showed himself to a variety of different groups of people, and at one point, even to more than 500 people, by any measure in today's system, that would be enough evidence and testimony to the reality of Jesus Christ, his death, his resurrection. Only God could do such a thing. Who is Jesus? He's my Savior, and he's your Savior too. Why don't you come and learn a little bit more about him here at Ascension Lutheran Church in Sarasota. God bless you. Have a wonderful week.